New developments now in a confrontation caught on video between a young woman and an NYPD detective. Tonight, we're learning more about the moments before an arrest took a violent turn. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner, Life Horse in Lower Manhattan, where that woman made her first appearance in court tonight. Lisa? Well, Christina Maurice Crum is free tonight. Uh, we spoke with her mother as well as supporters of the detective. We want to warn you, the video of what happened may be found disturbing. New details emerging in a criminal complaint, which states that the detective told 19-year-old Tamani Crum to leave the area as they were making an arrest. He allegedly tried to grab her arm, and that's when Crum slapped the detective's arm away. Then the officer is seen pushing her and her falling backwards. You see her get picked up off the pavement and taken into custody. Wednesday night, she pleaded not guilty to obstructing governmental administration. After she was released on her own recognizance, her attorney said he was pleased the district District attorney decided not to charge her with assaulting an officer or resisting arrest. Her mother, who cried in court, was relieved. Thank God she's out. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that she's home with her mom. I'm very happy. The family says the detective should be held accountable and that Crum, who has no criminal record, is suffering from injuries. It's bad, her back. She's very sore. She's hurting. In her head, she has a big knot in her head. Um, but. He absolutely used excessive force. We're talking about a 19-year-old young girl uh, versus a grown man who was approximately three times her body weight and size. Police say it happened Tuesday around 5 p.m. on West 136th Street in Harlem. The NYPD says the man officers were arresting was wanted in connection to an attempted murder. He is 22-year-old Elvin James, and police say he also had a loaded firearm on him at the time of the arrest. Paul DiGiacomo is with the detectives in downtown. Association. The actions of uh, the woman that interfered and obstructed the arrest uh, put not only the police lives in danger, but the public as well. He says the detective used minimal force. Sources tell CBS2 there will be an investigation into the detective's actions. We showed the video to former NYPD Keith Taylor, who is also a professor at CUNY John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Awful but lawful. She's actively engaging, which is in this case assaulting the officer, and he uh, responds in kind. We need to let the investigators do their job and see all the additional information. And at this time, the detective is still on active duty. Crum is due back in court October 11th. Live in Lower Manhattan, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Lisa, thank you.